Here I have a database deployed and it contains a single cube that has two partitions. Now let's say that for whatever reason, even though I've deployed this with separate partitions, I want to merge these two partitions as part of my administrative process. So I can come to one of my partitions here, select the partition to merge, And now when we refresh this, we can see that we have a single partition and we might want to rename this to reflect the fact that it's now more than just the two years that were originally part of this. Similarly, I could do things like add roles to define different security than might have been originally defined in the project in the development environment. So we could have an analyst role here, for example, and we would give them access to our queue. Now at this point, these changes that I've made in Management Studio affect the cube in production, and corresponding changes have not been made back in the development files that would be stored in source control. Now if we're never making changes again to the project, then there's no problem. However, if at some point some change needs to be made, there's a potential problem with deployment. Let's see what happens. Here we have the original project where we can see the two partitions exist and there are no roles. So let's say that I want to create a role here. I'm a developer and I don't know that the administrator has made changes. So maybe we add a new role called managers. And we would assign users or groups to this role and we would give them access to the cube and whatever other security settings we'd want to set here. And maybe I've come along and I've added a new measure and I go to deploy this project. Now this is going to warn me that the database will be overwritten. I think no problem. Go ahead. And now remember we had merged partitions but our project files show two partitions here and we've added a new role. Now let's go back to Management Studio and refresh, we can see that we have our two partitions back again and our analyst role has been replaced with the manager's role. So we have a problem when there are administrative tasks being performed and development tasks being performed that collide. So what we can do is take a different approach. Let's go ahead and merge the partitions again since that doesn't take very long. And I'm going to add back in my analyst role. And of course we would assign people to this role and give them access and set dimension security and so forth. But now we have additional changes that we need to make. So back to the development environment. And let's say that I make another change. We need to add in another measure. But this time, instead of using the deploy command from analysis services, what we need to do is to go ahead and do a build here and that sets up in our file system an AS database file. So we can launch the deployment wizard
and access that AS database file. And if we open this here in the deployment wizard, we can specify a target server and a target database. And here's where we can specify what to do about existing partitions and roles. And that way, we can make our changes without impacting our database in production. So for example, here, when we select Retain Partitions, if I have any brand new measure groups, those will get deployed, but any existing partitions will be left unchanged. Similarly for roles, I can deploy any new ones that are in my project, but keep any existing roles intact. Previously, the deployment process had deleted my merged partition and deleted the analyst role because those weren't present in the project. So let's use the wizard now. We'll keep the default settings here. And we'll go ahead and do default processing. And we'll go ahead and let this just process. Ordinarily, you might use a script and hand a script off to an administrator to run in Management Studio or using an automated process. But here we've made our deployment. Let's finish this. Now let's go to Management Studio. Let's refresh. We see that there's only a single partition here. And with our roles, we have both the analyst and the manager. So no changes were made. The analyst did not disappear. It was retained. And we're set. If we browse the cube, we can see that our new measure was indeed added, but that merged partition structure was preserved intact.